you're looking for a new TV show to watch, you've got many choices. Whether it's a captivating drama, hilarious comedy, or engaging documentary TV series, we've got you covered. Coming up, we'll show you 10 of the best TV shows released here in the U.S. over the past year that you can watch right now. As always, we do value your opinion, so let us know in the comments which new TV shows released this year are your absolute favorites. With that out of the way, let's get started. First up, in no particular order, is Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet. This comedy with the strange name on the Apple TV Plus streaming service was co-created by and stars Rob McElhaney, who also created the long-running sitcom It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Mythic Quest follows a team of misfits at a successful video game design company responsible for the biggest multiplayer video game of all time as they struggle to keep their game on top. Whether you play video games or not, you'll find the series to be entertaining throughout. The cast is fantastic, and after last year's less than stellar comedy, The Morning Show with Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon, Mythic Quest is the first bona fide comedy success for Apple TV+. Prior to its season one premiere, Apple TV Plus had already renewed Mythic Quest for a second season, which is expected sometime in 2021. Up next is the HBO detective crime drama, Perry Mason. This is a reboot of a series that was popular back in the 1950s and 60s, and it's based on the characters of the same name, created by Earl Stanley Gardner. In the title role is the American star, Matthew Reese. Set in the early 1930s in Los Angeles, he plays a down-and-out defense attorney, living as a low-rent private investigator, dealing with his trauma from the Great War and recent divorce. When Mason is hired for a sensational child kidnapping trial, he uncovers the truth, which could lead to his redemption. This slow, methodical mystery, at times, will be a true test of your attention span. Don't give up on it. You'll more than likely find the ending to be satisfying when you complete the final episode of the season. HBO has renewed Perry Mason for a second season. No release date has been announced yet. Perhaps the most watched, buzzworthy documentary series of this year is Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness. The seven-part true crime documentary miniseries on Netflix explores the world of private zoos and sanctuaries. The primary subject is Joe Exotic, the eccentric owner of the GW Zoo in Wynwood, Oklahoma, and showcases his bitter feud with Carol Baskin, the CEO of Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. If you haven't seen Tiger King yet, it's a must-watch. It just may be one of the craziest documentaries of all time. After finishing all episodes of Tiger King, watch the special with Joel McHale, also on Netflix. He has interviews with many of the notable characters from the docuseries. High Fidelity on the Hulu streaming service is a romantic comedy based on the book of the same name by Nick Hornby. Some of you might recall the 2000 film starring Jack Black with his insane dance moves and John Cusack in the lead role who played a record store owner named Rob. In the series on Hulu, Rob is a woman being played by actress Zoe Kravitz. She also owns a record store in Brooklyn and is described as the ultimate music fan. She's obsessed with pop culture and uses music to reflect on past relationships. Despite positive reviews, Hulu made the decision to cancel High Fidelity after its first season. One of the most underrated of this year is the crime drama miniseries, Zero Zero Zero. It follows the difficult journey of a large shipment of cocaine from Mexico to Italy. There are conflicts between the rival groups of cartels, mafias, and corrupt businessmen. Caught in the crossfire, brokering the shipment is an American family from New Orleans who own a shipping company. This unpredictable big-budget thriller will have you fully engaged through each and every captivating episode. Depending on where you live, it's either available on the Amazon Prime Video Service, Sky Atlantic, Canal Plus, or HBO Europe. Switching gears, The Last Dance is a 10-part sports documentary miniseries co-produced by ESPN Films and Netflix. The series charts the rise of the Chicago Bulls NBA basketball team led by Michael Jordan in the 1990s. The primary focus is on the Bulls' 1997-98 season in their quest to win a sixth NBA title in eight years. The Last Dance includes never-before-seen footage from the film crew that followed the Bulls that season, along with interviews with Jordan, Dennis Rodman, Scottie Pippen, head coach Phil Jackson, and many others. The Last Dance is truly outstanding in every aspect, and one of the best sports documentaries to ever be created. 
All 10 episodes are available on Netflix right now. The Outsider is a horror crime drama miniseries on HBO based on the novel of the same name by Stephen King. The story begins by following an investigation of a gruesome murder that seems quite simple at first, but all is not what it seems as an insidious supernatural force coincides with the ongoing case. Ben Mendelsohn's performance is top-notch as Ralph Anderson, the lead detective in charge of solving the case. The supporting cast is also fantastic. While most of the season is a slow burn, you'll be rewarded for sticking with it through its satisfying, action-packed season finale. As often happens with miniseries these days that often get renewed for another season, there's still the possibility we haven't seen the last of The Outsider. Another miniseries this year worth checking out is the drama thriller Devs. It was created, written, and directed by Alex Garland. It's available on the Hulu streaming service in a dedicated hub called FX on Hulu. This story, based in Silicon Valley, follows Lily Chan, a software engineer who works for a cutting-edge quantum computing company. She investigates the secret division within her company, suspecting they're involved in the disappearance of her boyfriend. If you enjoy mind-bending sci-fi, this eight-part miniseries should be on your watch list. While the pacing is slow, the storyline is thought-provoking with outstanding cinematography and visual effects. If you ever played the highly popular Monopoly game at McDonald's, you'll find this next one to be fascinating. McMillions is a six-part true crime documentary miniseries broadcast on HBO. It's about the McDonald's Monopoly promotion scam that occurred between 1989 and 2001 tells the story of an ex-cop turned security officer who rigged the game stealing millions using a wide range of co-conspirators across the U.S. Throughout each episode, there are interviews with bogus winners, perpetrators, and the FBI agents involved with solving the case. McMillions features an interesting cast of real-life characters with a storyline that is so fascinating it really should have been made into a movie by now. On a side note, if you're a casting director watching this, Matthew McConaughey should be your first choice to play Agent Doug Matthews. As many of you know by now, we're huge fans of Upload on Amazon Prime Video. The science fiction comedy was created by Greg Daniels, who developed the U.S. version of The Office. Upload takes place in the future, 2033, where humans are able to upload themselves into the virtual afterlife of their choosing. The show follows Nathan, a computer programmer who dies prematurely. Upon dying, he is uploaded to an expensive lakeside community, but still finds himself under the control of his still-living girlfriend, Ingrid. Upload is one of the most original shows to come along in years. Not only is the writing brilliant, the production quality is excellent, and the cast is amazing. Prime Video has renewed Upload for another season. Season 2 is not expected until 2021 at the earliest. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What is your favorite new TV show released this year? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest top 10s and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.